All right, everybody, welcome to Junction City today. My name is Farrell. There's my friend Mike and my other friend Dan. And uh, Dan is with Colt 46. Yes. You look like that was a trick question. Or something. Uh, yeah, I was, I was waiting for you. <laughs> and you guys are coming down to play the Union, help me out, the Union Station Music at the Rails. Yeah, big Music at the Rails concert series. So about back in August or September, we started doing a Music at the Rails concert series and bringing in different bands into the Browning Theater just uh, raise some money and awareness for this awesome building that we're in. Yeah, I, I can't, I say it every time, people probably get tired of hearing me say it, but it, people don't realize how awesome the Union Station is. And it's right, it's right here in Auburn, it's right in your backyard. And it's, a lot of cool stuff. It's, it's yeah. really awesome. Yeah, it really is. And so on the 13th, um, Dan and his band have been so gracious as to say they're going to come and come and do our December concert series. So, um, so the second Thursday of every month, Farrell, is when we do... Um, and of course, we have the second Wednesday of every month, we have jazz at the station. So oh, nice. um, tell us a little bit about Colt 46, um, uh, what kind of music you play and, for, you know, for the viewers out there. Well, we're a country rock band. Uh, been together probably about six years now. Uh, we play around quite a few of the clubs. This is a good opportunity for us to get in front of other people, other crowds that we don't normally play in front of. Uh, so we're really looking forward to it, and it's for a good cause. It's to help out the building here in Ogden, and that's important. Yeah, yeah, and we'd like to, you know, we'd like to get three or four hundred people down here for that concert. And we have, you know, we have a few other vendors and maybe a food vendor or two. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll do some raffles to help raise a little money. Um, you know, so we look forward to it as well here at the station. Well, like like Dan just said, get music out in front of other people that's i mean it, it's a family event like you said you, they play a lot of bars and stuff and of course you won't be well you can't get into a bar yeah. if you're a kid anyway your kids yeah. but there's, yeah. there's some yeah. people that are just just turned off by the, the atmosphere, atmosphere of the bar yeah, yeah. exactly yeah, sure so it's, it's a good chance for people to come down you know maybe because you guys played a lot of gigs and they're kind of curious what you guys are all about they can come down there's no bar there's no just a good time yeah just come enjoy yeah. it yeah. And you guys did a uh, you did a benefit concert for Enable Utah earlier in the year yes, too, right? Yes, we did opening up for Granger Smith. That was super awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. tell tell me tell us a little about that. That was uh, I heard about it, but I had something else going on. I yeah, it was it was a good time. It was a big crowd, and it was you know I have I always had goals with this band to put it in front of the biggest crowds I can, and so that was probably our biggest Four or crowd. Five thousand or something. Yeah, I think it was about five thousand people there. That's pretty so, amazing at the amphitheater, yeah. right? Yeah, Ogden yeah. Amphitheater. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it was just cool that you get to hang out with the pros back there and yeah. see them what they're doing all the time, and yeah. Awesome. Very so, nice. Yeah, it was a good now, time. How many? How many members are in your band? Four. Four, four of four? us. Okay. Yeah, so awesome. And you and you guys. I mean, what different venues have you played around um, amphitheater? You're gonna be playing here. He mentioned bars, but other, yeah, other venues, played, what other venues? Uh, Balloon Festival, we played a couple of times, I believe. Um, I'm trying to think of all the stuff. Don't you guys do a lot of private events too, though, right? Like we do. There's uh, some families we've played for, for the Angelman Syndrome. We've done a couple of private events for them. Uh, uh, we have some friends, other friends that have hired us for for birthday parties and weddings and stuff like that, too. And so. speaking of that, you're doing... Something for Christmas. Um, I want to say toys for toddlers. But that's not exactly correct. What is it? What is it that you're doing? Help well, what I just ask is uh, it's our last last gig of the year is going to be at the Outlaw on the 14th, 15th. Uh, that weekend, because it's the last gig of the year and Christmas is coming up, I ask everybody just to give up one drink and donate towards. Uh, we just take in a, a bottle of money, a, a big change jar. Uh, you know, if everybody in the club gave up one drink for a kid that needs a, you know, or a family that needs something or f a food, whatever it goes towards. I don't really know what the money goes towards. I just know I take it in. Uh, last year, I donated all my money from both Friday and Saturday night. I'm going to do the same again. Uh, so I, you don't get any pay for playing those nights? No, no. I take that money straight to, yeah. And, and last you year we pulled together a group every a different organization each year. Or? No, we just did sub for Santa because it was okay. it was pretty close and easy to to go and help nice. those people out with. That's neat. Uh, yeah. yeah, and so on. You know, and I just I think it's important for us to give back to the community. Uh, yeah. And I feel like I'm in a place where I can I can give back. And you know, if I my couple hundred bucks for the weekend is, you know, if that goes towards somebody in more need than me, then great. 
I'm, right. I'm happy to do that. So you'll be playing three consecutive nights that week because you'll have the 13th yeah. here at the yeah. Union Station yeah. and then the 14th and 15th at the Outlaw Saloon. And if you're if you're feeling generous, they can even come bring donations down on the 13th if yeah. they'd like Yeah, to. yeah. Last year we did like 530-something dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, I'd really like to get $1,000. If I could take $1,000 in and hand that over nice. Sad for Santa, I'd be super proud. Yeah, so whatever, I mean, whatever the donation jar or whatever is, you know, here at, on the 13th, we can take it in here as well, um, you know, and then you can add to it that weekend. Um, you know, that'd be great because, you know, we all want to do good things, especially this yeah, time of year. Yeah, this time of year, you know, and I think it's important. And I think, uh, you know, I'm really super grateful to be in the band I am in and to have those opportunities to play in front of you. You get to know a lot of these people. A lot of these people are regulars and you see them all the time and they go out of their way to come and see us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think it's important for us to give back to the community. Some of these people that come and see us don't have a lot. Yeah. And so, you know, that's I'm, great. Yeah. So tell us how, how can we, how can people learn more about your band? What do you have a website? Yeah, we've got a website and we're on Facebook too. It's uh, cult 46.com. Okay. And you can find us on Facebook also. Awesome. And will all this information be on your website as, as yes. well yes. for the we'll be, for the Outlaw Saloon and yeah. for the other we'll concerts? We'll be putting out flyers for the for the other stuff that's coming up. We'll be putting out one for this. Awesome. So, on the rails. Yeah, and you can find you can also find uh, the Colt Forty Six information for the concert at the Brownie Theater yeah. at the Union Station on the Union Station Foundation org website. Um, you know, so come and support these great these great organizations, both the Union Station and the Sub for Santa that you're doing. Absolutely. December thirteenth is a Thursday. Thirteenth. Seven thirty p.m. Seven p.m. Seven p.m. Oh yeah, I come at seven thirty. You're too late. Yeah, that, that's my problem. Yeah. I, I, I show up late. Six thirty. I, I show up late all the time. Yeah, yeah. come at six thirty. Yeah. You might get to see the band warming up. Oh, oh, there you go. No, probably not. But it'll be 30. Oh, yeah, oh we're, listen we're to this. To oh, we don't need to warm up. <laughs> no. We just go and play. Yeah, well. <laughs> you might be surprised. That's pretty true, actually. <laughs> so Just wing it, you know, kind of yeah. like we do, Farrell. Yeah, well, that's how I live my whole life, maybe. That's why I need to reevaluate what I do and yeah. do some better planning. So, Well, awesome, Dan. Thanks for coming in, and, and, you know, we look forward to having you here at the Union Station. Thank you. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, you bet. Thank you. Thanks.